Wayne Carberry here. Um, this is my time machine. So behind me is a midden site. So it's a collection of shells built up over hundreds and thousands of years by local indigenous people or whole bunch of people from this area. Well, it was a gathering place. Uh, it was a meeting, uh, an eating place, and it was also normally an indicator of an area of plentiful, of great fishing. So each layer could uh, contain a couple of hundred years or a couple of thousand years of occupation uh, living off uh, the local resources here available uh, to this area. Such a beautiful thing. So many different varieties of species of um, food in these layers. But there's a massive pippy here. We have mussel shells, lobster shells, bones, fish bones, conch shells, sea urchins. There's mutton fish shell there, and uh, pennywinkles or periwinkles. The local people would have collected them, brought them up here. Would have been a fire going, they sat down, and then they cooked them, and then they sat here and ate them and, and put their shells to the side, which uh, formed this beautiful midden site, which is still here today. So, And um, very significant to my uh, local people here, uh, while bunch of people. Absolutely, I can feel their presence here. Uh, there's a lot of spirit in the land and there's also spirit in the food as well. So we're using that to gain energy and it becomes part of our dreaming as well. But we always must respect Mother Earth. It's key to our survival. This place is very special to me. I have a connection with the land, the place and the dream time. And a midden site to me would be my connection to country. Midden sites are very important. That's like today when we go home from school, we say to mum and dad, we sit down at the table and we eat, and mum and dad might say, what did you do today? So the Aboriginal people did the same, but they did it out in an environment where they used all their senses of smell, touch, listening, feeling, so they'd sit out in the landscape, in the beach, and they'd eat abalone, oysters, and lots of rich, rich foods from the sea. And that was really important. When they finished with the shells, or the remains, they would keep it in one big place. They didn't throw it away. They kept it in the place, so they knew that next time they came back, it would be grown over, or it would be still there for them to sit down and share their stories. So the people would have been running around, having fun, playing in the sand dunes, eating great food like that, found in this beautiful midden site, and, and living with nature.